few could have achieved what you just did. In order to activate the interdimensional bridge, it will require an adequate energy source. Nihilus's cosmic control rod should provide the power we need. You know, I really hate being the flame when there's so many moths around. Somebody call an exterminator! Despite their aggressive nature, these insectoids are truly intriguing specimens. Oh, that's why I love you, Reed. You always manage to find the bright side when we're about to be eaten alive. Burn them! Burn them all! Well, it ain't no yellow brick road, but something tells me we should follow this path. You were on fire! No matter how many times we venture into the negative zone, there are always new wonders to behold. Is this what you consider a wonder, Reed? Because if so, we have three different definitions of that word. Right. Even the baby can't say hideous. Things about to get a whole lot uglier. It goes against all my instincts, but the only way to stop them is to crush their eggs before they can hatch. Yeah. 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 Ah, oh, great. They make them with wings now, too? Look out. The insectoids are attacking from the skies now as well. The weird goo they're drinking is restoring their health. The exposure to these antimatter deposits seems to reverse these arthropods' ability to regenerate vitality. Perhaps we can use that to our advantage. This is where I've been constructing my interdimensional bridge. 
Once it's fully powered, it should return us safely back home. About time! I was starting to wonder when we were gonna find a real challenge for this place. Only you would think that surviving a dimension full of hungry alien insects was too easy. Oh, you know me, Susie Q. I got a reputation to him. Greetings. Getting close to Annihilus. Uh, can you guys hear the creepy chattering in the back of your brains too, or is it just me? Interesting. That object was a physical manifestation of pure antimatter. Well, I guess it don't matter that we busted it. We still need to use caution. Exposure to antimatter could have potentially devastating results. <laughs> found the insectoids breeding grounds. That is totally not something I ever want to think about, Ted. Then it's a good thing thinking is so far down your list of superpowers. 
you did here. about all those empty calories. <laughs> have one thing in common in Isles. It's that we aren't eradicated easily. Eternity 
face. Well, my children are expecting us home in time for dinner, so let's get this over with already. <laughs> Never saw it coming. Well, he certainly saw it going. And he doesn't seem happy about it. Devour them, my children! And return to me what is mine! This seems like the ideal time to make a strategic retreat. Exactly! Talk about a hot pursuit! Hey, Matchstick! Less jokes, more flames! The rod should power the interdimensional bridge!
Now, it's just up to us to make it to the other side. And to make sure no one follows us home. Yeah, about that, Stretcho. Whose home did you send us to, exactly? They said it wasn't gonna happen, but I kept the faith, and here we are! Rocking some sweet DLC action! What are you blathering about this time, Wade? You know, DLC. Deadpool loves Cable. You and me back together, Nate. Just like the good old days. Those days were not what I'd call good. Potato, paste, potpito. What matters is we've got ourselves a massive crisis to prevent, and you and I have pouches full of weapons. And some other assorted knickknacks that probably won't be nearly as helpful. But let's focus on the weapons. If we're really facing off against a Celestial, even my full arsenal won't be enough to prevent an extinction-level event. I've got an extra sword stash somewhere uncomfortable. I don't usually like to share, but for you, I'll make an exception, partner. We're not partners, Wade. Never have been, never will be. Get that through your disease-addled brain. Okay, fine. Have it your way. But could we at least put our differences aside and fight in a convenient squad of four while everyone else in our alliance seemingly abandons us until a pivotal moment? <sighs> if I agree, will it finally shut you up? <laughs> oh, I think you already know the answer to that one, Cyclops Jr. Right, didn't think so. But we're wasting time and I'm all out of options. I'll take what I can get. Aw, oh, Nate. You always did know how to make a girl feel special. Need something. Why? Because I'm a vampire? Yeah, that ain't how it works for me, kid. I'm a daywalker. Part vamp, part human. That means daylight don't hurt me. To me, the night is just when my next shift starts. Sending more bloodsuckers back to the grave. News flash. There are vamps everywhere. So whenever you happen to make it through the night without getting your damn neck bit, all it means is I'm doing my job right. You're welcome. Never abandon your service again, I swear. Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, sorry. I was just talking to Kanchu. Ah, Kanchu is all around us. He's the Egyptian moon god who granted me my powers. And let's just say he was not thrilled that I went off to another dimension without telling him first. Someone has to be his fist of vengeance here on Earth. But it's all okay now that I'm back under the moon where I belong. I'm in his good graces up to full power, and ready to deliver his justice. What can I do for you? It appears we are in Doomstadt, the capital city of Latveria. In many ways, this humble village reminds me of my childhood in Greece. I'm afraid not. Latveria's monarch strictly controls the nation's borders. No one enters the country without his permission. Nor does anyone ever leave. Those who live here adore their king. Despite their modest lives, they wish nothing more than to prove their undying loyalty. Even though they are only repaid with the cruelty of their master. Perhaps. But can you ever truly rescue one who refuses to believe they are in danger? What's on your mind, mon ami? Don't bother me none. 
Folks want to leave their homes unguarded, that's on them. How we take advantage of that situation, that's on us. Once a thief, always a thief. Qui say? Maybe we get lucky and find someone got a secret weapon they was planning to use against their beloved ruler. Don't you go count and gamble out now, Shay. Gonna be plenty of chances for me to prove myself soon enough, I guarantee. That can't be right. I'm not sensing any psychic activity in this entire village. It's as if every mind in Doomstead has gone silent. It gets worse. I can sense an intense concentration of cosmic energy coming from Doom's castle. I haven't felt anything this powerful since the Phoenix Force. I've learned firsthand that no one really ever truly uses power on that scale. It's the power that uses us. 